Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in this video, we're going to tackle Extreme Stage 3, uh, the Perilous Tides. And so this one is definitely very challenging. All the X ones are actually very challenging. And so um, this one requires one axe, one sword, and one fist user. And so we're using the Coco as our axe user. And sword users, we have a plenty. And of course, ES Molina for the fist. And so we're going to start off with a turn one EF to counter Magic Zone. Note that we are using the uh, Fire Stance Grasta on Radius. And we actually enhanced her speed. So she can, And she's in the front line, so she can act first. And then we're just doing a lot of offensive minded attacks so that we can power up Aldo's attack. And we're actually relying on Aldo quite a bit on this battle with um, the Coco as our support, including a cre creating extra damage. We also have ES Molina applying those uh, type, shield, type resist debuffs, as well as uh, obviously during Fire Stance, the Seraph Messiah can heal and give power and speed to your team. Note that I did not activate Lunatic on. Um, ES Molina uh, for this purpose. So, turn sta stage one, wave one was pretty easy, uh, just a couple of turns, and wave two with application of pain from Pain Grasta as well as a uh, buffed up 255 Aldo with a Void Sword, we were able to easily clear that. Now, this wave was actually pretty tricky. If you don't end the Phantom in the uh, very quickly, it can apply a speed debuff on you, which will make it extremely difficult to survive the next wave. And so uh, I really want to end this one right here. So again, it's very useful to have uh, um, the fire zone Grasta on someone as fast as you can, or you can switch in like I am doing for my Yumfa as well as Violet. Okay, so if you're wondering what we're doing here, we got Violet to come in last because during her VC, it increases your water resist shielding by 40% and because of her VC Grasta is for two turns. And really we're going to rely on her to defeat the Phantom since the Phantom is weak to Earth. And we'll use Aldo's uh, Volcano Blade to apply a 30% crit damage boost to uh, Violet. Also, we're going to use Int down here because we really want to end this uh, boss before, like I said, the speed debuff occurs in the next phase here. And so um, we have Mayufa here, we have Elemental Barrier to help shield us against the next wave and to protect against those water attacks, being that they just randomly target a single person. And we're just going to apply Dragon God um, Slash for obviously 50% physical resist debuff, just to make sure that Sword Dance can end it. And of course, we do have um, just the sword swing from radius doesn't need to reapply any zone since we want earth zone to power up sword dance and right there uh, we can hit for a mount a mar large amount and note that we are still okay here we have not um, seen any sort of uh, speed resist debuffs just yet now if you're wondering what we're doing here note that the Phantom, after a couple of attacks of water, will switch zones to fire. And that actually works in our favor because we have fire units here. And obviously, it also allows us to power the AF bar. And so we want to uh, make sure we have AF bar ba powered up so we can end the final wave, which is the Sacred Beast. Again, applying the Elemental Barrier just to make sure we VC in the Coco for uh, power down into down so we won't die. And we can now boost with support from the Coco as well as shield elemental barrier again just to protect here. Remember the Cat Deity Flame adjusts to every elemental stance and will give guaranteed crit for 4 hits including crit damage up 50% and that should end this phase right here. Note that we have more than a half bar AF and the final wave which is Sacred Beast has no HP stopper so you can fire at will here, uh, use a large AF and note that Sacred Beast does hurt quite a bit. If you try to um, activate any zone, it will counter with this water zone and attack you with an AoE. And I, I'm not sure if it works for every zone, whether or not it's weapon or uh, elemental zone, but I did want to take a chance and I actually died quite a few times on the final wave here. So I decided to just build up a bar, end the Phantom, and then uh, kill the boss uh, with multiple hits. Note that Violet does extremely well in combination with 
all those uh, Dragon Gods slash as well as um, the uh, X slash. And note that we do have Radius as a grass to holder for both of them because we rely on Aldo as well as Violet for DPS. So you can see we finally made all of the uh, requirements within 15 turns, no deaths, and one sword, axe, and fist user. Alright, so as usual, I'm going to show my loadout here. Okay, so you can see I put a bunch of speed badges as well as the Luna gear, which increases speed by 30%. Some extra Grasta there. Nakoko is our pain setter uh, with enhanced pain Grasta. Uh, she can do some damage, but she wasn't relied on for damage. It's mainly the Aldo with... Uh, you know, Deadly Blow, you can see all the damage was there, although I would say that you could actually switch out the Deadly Blow with um, Violet, because her single target Sword Dance can do a ton of damage. Molina, again, mainly for support and a double healer if needed, although Nokoko can heal. And finally, Violet, which was the MVP for this fight. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.